Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ape Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I got an interesting product. You know, I'm a retro gamer at heart. So when I get a chance to check out anything that might be a clone console or some kind of handheld thing or some kind of interesting little retro machine, I jump on it. So Banggood sent me this product. It looks like a, a PSP, kind of. <laughs> and it has a lot of games on it. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description should you guys be interested in checking it out. Um, it says World of Entertainment, supports multi-language, uh, GBA, SMCC game, CPS, built-in lithium battery, TV out capability, supports SD card, pixel camera, MP3 play, photos, ebook, calendar. Um, looks like it has a bunch of stuff. You can see it has Street Fighter reference, uh, Mario, different things I wanted to unbox it and take a look at it and just see what it's all about I'm I love weird stuff like this guys this is right up my alley I like to see all this weird type of uh you know devices and things and see what they're all about so yeah again I do have a link in the description they did send this to the PO box so let's unbox this baby looks like we got the user manual right away we got a um, a set of headphones that's good and it looks like we have a USB cord to charge I don't see an adapter plug so I'm assuming it use any brick and here's the console itself which is very similar to like I guess a PSP or a Vita or whatever I've never personally had a PSP or a Vita so uh, this I guess is about as close as it gets so it says portable media player See on the back, there's like a, a design and stuff. So I will say this, looking at it right from the bat, like get go. You have some face buttons. You have a couple analog sticks. Directional buttons, stuff like that. Pretty standard affair. It actually feels surprisingly well put together. It doesn't feel too cheap, honestly. Uh, on the top, you have some power buttons and volume buttons and stuff we're gonna take a look at this um, the screen does look like it has a plastic cover on it so let's take that sucker off yep right there boom much better with the screen so we're gonna charge this we're gonna play it I don't know if it has the games already installed I'm not sure so um, we'll figure this out if I have to install the games I guess I have to put some emulators or some ROMs or something like that so we'll figure this out give me a second all right guys so I charged it up just a little bit and it's booting up I gotta say you could definitely tell that this product is quote-unquote a clone console uh, it does have some neat little features on it though one thing that I will say though is I do not like these analog sticks they move very weird but here's the menu and you can see on the menu up top you have some games that are selectable you have like captain commando street fighter 2 and you have other games but these aren't all the games that are on the actual console uh, and then on the bottom you also have access to some of your tools your settings ebooks you can access your movie library so if you put like an sd card in here you can use actual video and stuff it does have some video clips um, I'll just show you guys briefly the one that's on here um, we are going to start it and it's like a little like I guess sample of how video works on this this is from Avatar so you can see it works okay it's in 720p so it's not like full on HD but it does its job now I'm gonna pick a game and show you guys what, what, what attracted my attention the most to this device was the games so first of all we're gonna pop we're gonna pop my favorite game on here that I saw and it's Street Fighter 2 so you see it'll boot up and it'll load I guess like a, a ROM of the um, arcade version uh, one downside is it's it's stretched out to 16 by 9 instead of its original aspect ratio. So that might bug some of you guys. Um, let's put the music. 
I thought I had the music. Uh, there's no music going on right now, which is interesting enough. Um, okay, so we're going to start the game. And there we go. All right. So one player start. The sound is not that great. If I'm be honest, let me put it right here by the mic. The sound kind of sounds muffled. Um, the pictures kind of spread out as well. Let me get to a good place where you can see it on screen. So we'll play a little bit. You can use both the joystick and the buttons down below. And uh, the frame rate is kind of choppy, if I'm being honest, on this game. And, and I guess the novelty is, is that you have hundreds of different games on here on one little, like, I guess, media unit. There we go. So, alright. Now to escape, you just go here and then you can click exit. You can even do save states. But let me show you guys the emulator. There's actually a big old emulator. So you can do local disk. And you'll see all these different menus that lead you to different types of things. You got like Adventure Island series, Aladdin series, Batman, Castlevania, Classic, Captain Hook. Um, version of arcade you got Famicom Game Boy Advance let's go to the Game Boy Advance section and you can see it's loading up a lot of games there's no thumbnails and stuff so sometimes you have to guess what it is that you're picking up so this says it is Game Boy Advance I don't know if it's Game Boy Advance or if maybe it's just all of them see because now it's showing NES uh, games in here in addition to GBA so I think it just kind of does like a generic menu and it puts all of them together so these look like japanese roms of castlevania and stuff so this is actually i believe the japanese version which i think was it might even be a hack if i'm being completely honest so coming in on it i mean it, it does look like i have some kind of cheat code on too I'll think about it. So this might just be a hacked version of the ROM. I, I have no idea. Uh, but it's very interesting nevertheless. I like hopping on to stuff like this. Let me see if I can get hurt. No, I can't. So there's a cheat on. Um, that's interesting. It has a cheat enabled to where I can't even get hit. So very interesting on that regard. Let's exit... Let's see what we have. Let's pick a GBA game. Buster's Nightmare. So let's see what Buster's Nightmare is. As it loads up. Is it loading? Tiny Toon Adventures. Okay. English. Okay, so this is a GBA game. To my knowledge right here. Yeah. So, GBA game. Let's start it. And let's play through. Oh. Okay, I've never played this game. I guess it kind of looks like a, a survival type of game. You just kind of endurance round against enemies. Oh, uh, you push up to jump. I, I don't know how I feel about that. But it looks like you have Babs. Alright, that's good enough for me. Um, let's see what other consoles we got on here, according to, uh, according to this. SFC, GBA, FC, GBC, Mega Drive. Let's see what we got with Mega Drive. Let's check and see if we got some Sonic or something. So it does have a lot of games loaded up, which is the appeal, I guess, if you, if you want to have something that you could, uh... Well, you can see it still has all the games mixed up. Like, even though I picked up Mega Drive, it says uh, NES, GBA, SFC. So, I'm just assuming they just have everything all loaded up in one thing. But they have a lot of games loaded on here. If you could see. 
let's, let's go ahead and select back. Let's go to Sonic series. That caught my attention. So we got Sonic 1 GBA, Sonic 2 GBA. So these are Game Boy Advance versions of the Sonic game. Let's check it out. Let's do English. So you can see, I guess it's uh, Sonic Advance. Yeah. So the sound is real, kind of not too great, but hey, Sonic Advance, can't beat that, right? I've actually never played Sonic Advance. Sonic looks weird as hell in this game. I think this is why they started to change Sonic from looking like the classic cute cuddly Sonic to Sonic Advance Sonic. I don't know. So definitely you could tell there was a lot of workarounds used with this console. Uh, I guess the biggest complaints I have about it is that the menus are kind of hard to navigate. It says one thing like Mega Drive and then you don't have them in here but evidently it supports those consoles at least. I see as SD card right here so I'm wondering if I was to load it with an SD card which I do have some if it would work properly. I just don't have the ROMs set on them or scheduled on them. Um, in addition to that, you have the games up top that, you know, they seemed okay, just a little choppy. You also have other features on here, like you can load up music, but it says there's a camera on here. And I'm very curious. It looks like the camera's on the back. So yeah, there is a camera and it seems like it's working. Um, if you were to look right there, you could see I just took a photo. So let's go ahead. We're going to do a selfie. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So here we go. We're going to do a selfie and see what happens or see how it looks. Okay, so I just took a selfie. Um, let's go to the photo app. Local disk. And I'm not sure how I find the photos, but I mean, for a console that you're getting from Banggood, you know, what can you expect from it? There's different themes and stuff. I don't know, guys. <laughs> the novelty is here. It's cool. Maybe it's something that you guys would want to check out. For me, I would rather play stuff on a TV from the beginning. I'm not too big of a handheld guy, but I will leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.